Cape Town is beautiful. It's expansive. It's environmental. The landscape lends itself to, to just spiritual calmness and spiritual development. I do continue to find my energy from what the city itself looks like and what it feels like at a natural level. The value and the quality of life here can be good. We just have to fight for our place. So the Pan-African Market uh, was started in 1996 by Michael and Anthea Methven. Um, along with uh, many traders that are still involved in the Pan-African market as uh, founder members. When the market started in 1996, many will recall who've lived here for a long time, um, Long Street itself was, uh, especially that part of Long Street, it was quite dead in terms of business and business activity. And there was very little black representation um, in, in the city in general. And so what the Pan-African market did was it created an opportunity for black small business entrepreneurs and creatives and artists to feel that they belonged to a hub and um, we literally had Africa under one roof and all of these people were doing different things that kind of worked with each other in one way or the other. The impact was that it did develop a strong sense of tourism in the space. So Long Street became a, a tourist zone. From the beginning, when I got involved, it was for permanent ownership. And when we were able to raise the funds to purchase the space, they changed their minds. The idea then was that over the years, we had to find a way um, for them to assist us to keep the rentals really low in order for this to carry on for as long as it did. They summarily asked us to leave uh, some two and a half years ago. And the reason was that they wanted to renovate. We were open to upping the rentals. However, there was a very strong sense that our kind of business no longer had a place in that particular building. And that spoke to a broader reality where we felt you know, knocking on various doors for alternative space, um, the price hikes uh, were prohibitive for our, ki our kind of business. Mama potanga ya no baki nanga boye u Samba na kokende Let's take up our space. The time has come and gone for us to just want to do it in the township and to remain separate. This is the time for integration. Let's own whatever piece of the city we can so that there is longevity for black people in the city itself. You are reminded that you actually don't have the space that you're fighting for, but you fight for it regardless because this is where you live, this is what you're calling home, and uh, you're enjoying all the other benefits of being in this city. Why can't you enjoy the main benefit, which is to belong? <laughs>